Back to form there, Oasis, and little by little, this <laughs> is XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, who are you? Uh, my name's Steve Merchant, good to see you. Thanks. Uh, with us, uh, the producer in the studio is a Carl Pilton, and he'll be doing the buttons. <laughs> yeah. You made a good effort there, but, uh, <laughs> once again- Just got bored. <laughs> words are your enemy, Rick, <laughs> and they defeated you once again. <laughs> Yes, run out of steam oh, with the sentences. Every week I think, well, I'm really gonna make an yeah. effort now, I'm gonna- I've, I've chosen some records, yeah. that's it. That's it, that's as far as yeah. it goes, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should write out what you're gonna say at the top of the show. <laughs> write that out. Get a nice no, big that crayon. Be, I like to keep a little bit of, you know- a little bit of something, a little bit of spark, yeah. a little bit of liveliness to it. Yeah, sure. yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. How yeah. are you? Good, to, good to good. see you. Yeah, it's great. It's great to. Uh, <laughs> it's great uh, to be out, bit. <laughs> out of the house yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Just um, I was going to say because we've been doing this uh, for a long time now with a little break. Um, but XFM are bringing new listeners all the time. I've heard four or five a week. Really? Yeah. New wow, listeners tuned in alive. to XFM 104.9. Radio 4. 1, 9. beware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, we might take it for granted the people that know who we are, know who you are, know who Carl is. Sure. Um, oh, now, yes, if, if, if you, you know, if you're a regular, then you know exactly who we are. But, um, for those of you who don't, uh, I say, I'm, I'm Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais, a BAFTA award winning actor and, yeah, uh, yeah. and writer. Steve Merchant, um, all, all those. A friend of yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, this is the important thing, Carl Pilkington. Absolutely. Our, um, produ I say producer, he was the bloke who was lumbered with a job. When I said, listen, I said, I used to run the desk in the old days, when I, was like, I used to press the buttons and run the desk and everything, and now I said, listen, I've been on the telly, I do not press my own buttons. And Carl said, well, I don't really work weekends, and they went, well, you do if you want to keep your job. Absolutely. And we were lumbered with him. And then we discovered that he's not just a, a little, like a little dork, a little manky, sort of idiot, sure, he's sure. got, he's got nice shirt, he's got, you know what I mean, he's got something else. Absolutely, he's got a he brings certain, another dimension, yeah. Yeah, and uh, he, he started having a little chat and we discovered that he had him. quite a lot to say. Mm. Well, I, I think you're absolutely right, and I think, um, I was wondering, maybe we, we should maybe play another tune, but after that, I just think we should re-familiarise our radio audience with yeah. Carl and any new listeners, just get, let, you know, somehow kind of let them get to know the real Carl again. Well, if you are new, you'll, you'll find that we like some uh, old songs, some new songs, some chit a chat. Uh, we get serious sometimes, there's oh, some yeah. tears and some laughter. Yeah. We kicked off with Oasis new one, little by little. We're gonna go <laughs> back in time now to Iggy Pop and his stooges with I'm Bored. Eggy Pop on board on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Steve Merchant here as well. Yeah, little Carl Pilkington. Mm. Well, to reintroduce or introduce people for the first time to Carl, um, I think we should have a. Yeah, a, maybe sort of a kind of a quick QA, Carl, and we don't need sort of lengthy answers from you. We don't need lots of detail. Um, yeah. You know, it can be uh, just a couple of sentences. Just to get to a answer each question. Who you are. Yeah, so like, firstly, uh, name obviously Carl Pilkington. Age, Carl? I'll be, uh, I'll be 30 next month. Really? This month. No, next. What, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I, we need to ask I any more questions. I think we've done it. That's I it. I think we've Welcome done it. Welcome to the world of Carl Pilkington. <laughs> yeah, I think that. Oh, I thought it would take three or four I questions. I thought it was going to be at least. To really yeah. explain that was, that what was Carl the first was question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Absolutely God! Incredible. But well, um, but you oh. know like, we can't really leave it there because um, no. because we uh, we haven't uh, got enough else to do to fill yeah. up the two hours. So um, no. let's let's pursue this line of inquiry. Yeah. Uh, so um, age? What was the age, Carl? In a couple of months. When were you born? I'll be uh, seventy-two. Right. What month? What day? I'm on the cusp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're on the cusp of a day. <laughs> well, twenty-third um, of September. Okay. Seventy-two. <laughs> so anyway. Okay, right, good. And uh, you were talking there about, um, obviously a star sign where you're on the cusp. Yeah. You believe in that, do you? No. Nope. You don't believe in star signs? No, not really. But you do believe in ghosts, I understand. No, because Paranormal. the star sign- Yeah, but the star Ta sign thing, you've got how many, how many different star signs are they? Twelve, innit? Right, and then you've got, like, loads of people. Yeah. So you, you do the math. So they're saying <laughs> that, you know- there's only twelve different sorts of people in the world. Exactly. That's yes. exactly right. It's it's made up. It's made up nonsense. It's non science. It's pseudoscience. It's yes. It's Sorry. it's 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 hairy man and um dyed hair woman science. Yes. Mm. Isn't it? All right. Yeah. Anyway, back to uh, you, Carl. Where were you born? In uh in Manchester. Okay. What uh GCSE results did you get? <coughs> I got uh was that an E? You got an E, you in, got history. An e in history. And how, how did, did you, you find out that, that information? You found out because you thought you you didn't you couldn't remember what you got. You didn't turn up, and you thought you'd done about three, one of which I, wasn't history. And I actually, knew, I knew I did art. 
Yeah, you didn't. I'm telling you, you didn't because we checked. Yeah. You did one. You turned up for history. You did history. You got an no, E in I history. I definitely did art. I what? made a little clay man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to register for O levels. You don't just do it and then phone up and say, "I was that." Yeah. And they go, I'm sending don't. you a clay man. <laughs> <what you think. laughs> yeah, Send me yeah. a grade. Yeah, there's all things. There's forms to fill out and yeah. things like that, Carl. Anyway, yeah. go anyway, on. Um, <laughs> who was your closest childhood friend? Closest? At what age? Well, when you were young, when you were. Oh, a I remember this. It's a fella. Um, so there's, is there's, it someone making, isn't it? There's, well, he wasn't really a close mate. Darren Buckley was me. Darren Buckley? Yeah. He, he was me. Tell us briefly mate. about Darren. I've forgotten about Darren. He's the one who, um, all the, all the girls liked him. He Did had, they? Uh, he had permed hair. He used to <laughs> have his hair like a footballer. <laughs> sure. Um. Yeah. Were you jealous of him? His Were you dad was a copper. Did you hang around with Darren, like, in the hope of getting maybe his kind of cast-offs? Nah. I, I, it's, it's weird with me, and I, I, I wasn't that bothered about having loads of mates and that. I sort of- sure. I had lots of mates, but I could do without them. You had a magpie, yeah. didn't you? you had a bird, didn't I was you? happy playing with my magpie. Yeah, what happened on, to him? It, uh, flew away. Yeah. But yeah. I wasn't bothered, cos it was giving me grief towards the end, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was popping me- me grifter tyres and that. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> flying down, pecking me head. Sure. Now, you went to school with a number of different interesting people. Uh, some of whom two were of which, freaks. I understand, uh, had big heads and webbed toes. Is that right? Yet they were not related to each other and they weren't friends with each other. Why weren't they friends with each other? <laughs> because that'd be obvious. <laughs> <laughs> did they- did they wear shoes or did they walk around in their- <laughs> in their web uh, Were they good feet? at swimming? Were they good at swimming? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they ever- ever went swimming. Did they ever talk- did they, did they ever look over at each other and think- Yeah, we should hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, uh, yeah. something in the week as well. There was another cool. lad at school had a pigeon chest. <laughs> he had a what? Can we come back to this? He had a pigeon I chest. I think we should play a record, Carl, because we- I think we've hooked them now. Yeah. I think- I think- There's no one switching off now, Rick. No, play a record. <laughs> Blair, Coffee and TV. Carl, uh, I said it's not the best Blair song when, when it was playing. You know, I'm not- I don't want to diss it, but, you know, it's not the best one. I mean, that's- Absolutely that's not. fact. Sure. You know. Yeah. Carl went- like the video, though. A little milk carton. Yep. Bit sad. It's tragic, isn't it? <laughs> he went. In the, this is all to himself. I'm not even joining in. And then he went. Yeah, but it's all right at the end. He goes to heaven. He finds a little girl milk carton. Just lives out a little thing. And is is that like you on your paper round that little milk carton walking around like that? I imagine you. Oh, people don't know about. It, if you just tuned in, Carl had a paper round. It's his favourite job ever. And he maintains it's the best job he's ever had, isn't it, Carl? We... Go on. I don't know what's so weird about that. It's a paper round. Yeah, but look. look Forget it's not all the most that. fulfilling of look jobs. At, look at the way it works, right? You you get it out of the way at the start of the day, so you've got the rest of the day to yourself. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just it's, it's same as signing on. Your own- your own boss, you know. Same as signing on. Well, you're not your own boss. The guy yeah. at the news agent's your <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But- <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, That's you, great. You, you, you've proven me wrong there. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, not really. Would that stand up in court? Well, you were found with the dagger. Nah. <laughs> Was I? <laughs> what, when are we, uh, when are we playing a new game? Oh, Carl's got a new game. Carl's oh. very excited. Oh, just, but just, we were just, talking about something before Yeah, well, the freaks used to go, you, you had, uh, people with big heads, two web feet, didn't hang around each other, that would be too obvious. Um, you had a fella with a pigeon chest. Mm. Yeah, what's the story with a pigeon chest? Don't know how it happened. <laughs> it was like it, it looked like someone had sort of hit him on the back with a big hammer, <laughs> and it had come out at the front. Yeah, and I've never seen it since. Could that have been the answer? What? Why is why yeah, he had it? Why had it? Possibly, I suppose, in your neck of the woods. Yeah, don't know. Never asked him. It's just come back to haunt you, has it? The pigeon chest? No, it's just that uh, you know when you when you mentioned it about kids at school, I forgot all about him. Mm. He's talking about the kids with the web feet and the big heads. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I forgot about the little old uh, the pigeon, chest, pigeon boy. Yeah, pigeon boy. Yeah. Well, listen, I, I, are you? I, I'm a big fan of that TV show. It's on digital TV. A lot of people won't have it, but uh, inside the actor's studio with James yeah. Lipton. Yeah. And he's, he interviews lots of big Hollywood stars, and he always asks them these same questions at the end. Can I just run a few of them past you? Go on. Okay. So, um, if you could do any other profession other than the one you do now, what profession would you do? Uh, can you just change that to apart from a paper round? Apart from a paper round. Oh. If you could do any other okay. profession, Carl. Um. And it doesn't matter about like. It doesn't matter if you've got the skills or anything. I in an ideal world, if you had the ability. Well, I, I think I'm about to buy somewhere, so I reckon something you know, using using tools and like doing a bit of plumbing and that. So a plumber. Well, sort of an all rounder. Right, right. A, a handyman. Handy handy well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 
you know, you don't get paid that much, but it's useful, isn't it? So, but you'd useful. get your own show, couldn't you, with Carol Smiley eventually? Well, well, all that, but the money that you don't make, you save by not having to pay someone else to do the chores. Do right, you know okay. I, mean? I, I don't know what that sentence meant. <laughs> right, right. No. A plumber, how much, how much is the average plumber on? The money you don't make, <laughs> you save on not getting someone else to do it. <laughs> no, just think of that. No, look, break that sentence down. Are there any- Sorry, Rick, sorry, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. people who live in glass Carol. houses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's just go back to Lipton quickly. We've got a couple of to get through here. Sorry, so, no, um, no, your, no. your, your, your favourite noise or sound? Uh... Favourite sound or noise? Ooh. Is it me? No. It's not uh, me? Hang on a minute. It's not me! <laughs> Are you sure it's not me, Carl? I like, I like Elvis. Noise. Elvis. Uh, Elvis. In the, in the ghetto. The, the sound of Elvis. Uh, Elvis in the ghetto. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. And your least favourite noise or sound? I, d I don't think it should really be records and music. Noises. Things that you hear uh, at home or whatever. Maybe like a sound of a... The least favourite noise. Least favourite. The sound of... Probably like uh... sound of ghosts? Fire engines and that. <laughs> right. That's, that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Except if your house was on fire, presumably. <laughs> I think it's a bit unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> you think uh, they're just doing it to wind people up? I live on like a busy street and it's happening all the time and it's, yeah. it is like... Just sort of have a blast of it and people will hear it. You sure. don't have to keep it going. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. Yeah. Sure. So that that is yeah okay. pretty annoying. And um uh if heaven exists, Carl, when you get to the pearly gates, what would you like God to say to you as he welcomes you into heaven? What would you like God to say to you? Uh Who asks these? What what shows this? It's a programme where um celebrities are interviewed by a guy, uh, an American interviewer, and he always asks these questions at the very end. What would I say to God? What would no, you say what, to God what, what, when, if, if you believed in heaven and if heaven exists, when you eventually go up to heaven and you're welcomed in through the, the gates in by your God, parker what, in your stussy t-shirt and yeah. your... What do you want God to say to you as he welcomes you in? Say, uh, you all right? Uh, <laughs> don't know, just be, just be friendly. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, nice stuff. Um, it's a kind of Scottish super group, lots of different artists from uh, Scottish Sebastian bands. Ben Sebastian's got to be involved. Is Arab it a singer Strat. from them? Uh, it may well be, yeah, on that particular track. There's different people, Mole Historical Society, Idlewild, Teenage Fan Club, different people from all those bands. Get together with a guy called Sir Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol and he uh, writes and the And all tunes. that on XFM 104.9, Steve. Absolutely. Uh, let me just name that track. That track was Grand Parade from their current album, uh, Son of Evil Reindeer. <laughs> Feeder. Come back around on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Uh, but who are you? <laughs> oh, thanks for asking, Rick. Steve Merchant. Uh, with us, Carl Pilberton. Well, Carl, um, now I know I shouldn't, uh, but I met Carl in the week again, I, Steve. I told you you shouldn't do I this, know. you know, you should But then when the he weekend. starts, he starts saying things like, oh, is this loud with the people? I go, no, save it, save it, and we just sit there and I'm scared to talk in case he comes up. But, um, you did tell me a couple of little things, didn't you? True stories that, you know, that, that I mean, I enjoy. Can you tell, um, Steve about the doctor? Right. Oh God. Um, What's what, what, is this something that happened to a friend of yours, or is this? Uh... No, no, I read about it. You read about it, okay. Um, there's this little lad, <laughs> right? Okay. First of all, it's it's years ago, right? When right, they didn't have times. they didn't have decent doctors in like every town and that. Yeah. And uh, this little kid is dead ill, right? Yeah. And the local doctor. <laughs> Well, there's a phone call involved, so I don't yeah, really well, give the impression it. that it's like medieval, medieval times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but I didn't say that, I just said it's years ago. Go on so on. this kid's ill, right? Yeah. And he's, uh, he's lying in the bed and uh, he's, mm. he's all like, all going funny colour and that. Yeah. And, uh, and his mum says, I'm gonna get the local doctor round. The local doctor comes round and uh, he says, oh, so I don't know, don't know what's up with him. He said, um, he said, leave it with me. Leave it with me? He well, said, the doctor uh, said that. I'll have a, yeah, he said, I'll, um, I'll, I'll phone up, uh, a top doctor. Okay. Who was in America or somewhere like that. Yeah. And, uh, so he goes to the phone in his office and he calls America and because it's years ago, the phone line isn't that good, it's all crackly and that, right? Yeah. So he's talking to the doctor and he's saying, I've got this kid, he's a funny colour and, uh, you know, he's really weak and that. I don't yeah. know he's not him. giving him much to go on. <laughs> right? Sure. So, uh, so the American doctor, right? Yeah. He goes, yeah, what you wanna do? And it's all breaking up, right? Yeah. He goes, what you gotta do? You gotta, uh, it's all breaking up. You gotta give him some, uh, 
parrot's blood, right? Some parrot's blood? Well, that's what he thought he said, but the line was really bad. Yeah. He meant parent's blood, but he, he heard that he said parrot's blood. He oh said, right, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, leave I, it with I me. I can see where this is going. He goes, goes to, uh, you know, a pet shop. Yeah. <laughs> he says, give us like half a dozen parrots. Sure. Takes them round to the kid's house, takes the blood from the parrots, puts it into the kid, kid's fine. <laughs> The kid's fine. <laughs> I've it, never it worked. <laughs> such a load of shite <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I've never heard <laughs> such twaddle, such uh, just made up, enhanced, exaggerated <laughs> bollocks what in my life. A load of old rubbish. I car. mean, when he told me this, he said, the doctor said, What do I do? And the doctor on the other end said, Give him some blood. And the doctor went, Where do I get blood from? <laughs> So hang on, wait, you, I just need to- I give, just need Where to do I get blood from? From his- Give him some parents' blood. Give him some parents' blood. <laughs> give him some parents' some- some parents' blood. Yeah. I- um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But hang on, I just need to know where you Sorry, read this. Sorry, Carl. Where was this? Where did I you read I stitched you up. You know when he said- he said, so do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. He went, do you <laughs> believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. Carl. But where did you read it? it? That- that was on the internet. What, where about is illnesses. it on the internet? Where, I'm what, always what looking at stuff. I was looking at stuff this morning because of, um, because <laughs> of Yora Geller last night. <laughs> eating, uh, eating all that funny food and that. And also, uh, they all got a bit scared last night, didn't they, with a, with a snake. Hmm. I didn't see that. Is this, um, I'm a celebrity getting me out of yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. He got all worried about a snake getting on the, uh, sort of wandering about in between the sleeping bags and stuff. Yeah. And, um, they were all scared, and it is so Leave easy. it with me. Sorry, the doctor says, leave it with me. <laughs> leave um, it with me. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, leave it with me. Well, they were all scared, because there's a snake, and it's so easy to find stuff out. Before they- before they- where are they? Where is this jungle? <laughs> Australia, right. I think. Before they went, give it half an hour on the internet, <laughs> I found out with snakes, you don't need to worry, right? Okay. Um, they're deaf, they haven't got any ears. Right. So as long as you- you're really quiet, Creep it'll, around, it'll yeah. probably leave you alone. Yep. And also, they don't have eyelids. Uh huh. Um, so they were suggesting if one's coming towards you, just like kick sand in its eyes. Because yeah. it can't blink and it leaves it a bit like annoyed yeah. and it wanders off. But they didn't do any research before they went. Yeah. And that's. So, you're, you're, I think your knowledge would hold you in good stead. I don't think you need to know any more than you know. Um, well, we're going to come back to that because he also explained to me where um, uh, a saying comes from that I want to, you to be part of. But, um, oh, and also, you should mention as well, Carl, you've come up with a, a competition. Is this right? Brilliant competition. You, have you, have he, you thinks this, this up? he thinks oh. this can go to television. Is this a good idea you've come up with? Yeah. Carl, I'm so looking forward to so, it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, continuing uh, our exposure of myths. And, and Legends of Rockfall Tale, we exposed that myth that some maybe older rockers have, have had it and they've got no- they, they were never any good and the yeah. kids today- Oh, I don't want to hear want that. People like Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart, he's a great artist. This, uh, he's a slightly laughable man, but a great artist. Let's go back to when it was- when he was rocking. When he cut the mustard? Yeah. <laughs> Rod Stewart, you wear it well. Great tune. On XFM 104.9. Yeah. This doctor, I mean, we <laughs> should find out who he is, really, and if he's still practising, because it- it worries me a little bit that he, you know, mm. he did that. Also, I mean, he thinks he's got away with it, but how could he be sure those parrots wouldn't talk? True. True. Do you yeah, know what I mean? There yeah, were six yeah. of them, they probably got together and they pro they probably put it on the internet. I mean, it, I- I feel that that story, Carl, <laughs> it- it asks more questions than it answers. <laughs> yeah! Really. Like most of your stories. Yeah, that's the problem. I always feel them- I always feel like I need a little bit more information. Like, yeah. did the parrot boy continue to live? <laughs> yeah. You know, to a ripe old age, or did he yeah. die weeks later <laughs> after this charlatan doctor who was yeah. going around, you know, well, spurious and- Did he break right. his nose trying to crack a big nut? Mm. No, I th- I think he's, uh, he was alright. He- he lived to a- See, a I'd have shouted- if I was that doctor, I'd have shouted- Back down the phone. Are you sure you said parrot's blood? Yeah. You parrots, sure it was parrot's no, blood? Listen, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm not the best doctor in the world, but d- d- did you say parrot's blood? <laughs> yeah, but what you're forgetting is you're going back to the time where, like, they used leeches to do, like, No, 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 we're not. We're going back to the late 70s if there's a phone <laughs> call to America direct. <laughs> Come on, Carl. They weren't calling America, like, in the medieval times or, or in the Victorian age. Come on, think about it, Carl. Yeah. You know, it's, this has got to be like the, the like, you know, 30s or 40s, <laughs> the earliest. <laughs> you know? <All> right. 
<laughs> I'm intrigued to know where this is. I think there's someone on the on the web who's just putting information on there to lead you astray. Yeah. I don't- cause you're the only person who finds this stuff. Other people are using this to write what we, theses. What were you looking at that then? What were you- what were I'm you looking always, I always look at f- weird stuff. What were yeah. you looking for? But what do you type in the search engine to find what parrot blood stories? What were you looking for? There was this woman with a weird head. <laughs> Why were you looking for that? What were you doing? Just because I'd heard about it. I'd heard, like, someone talking about it on another station. Right. right. About this woman with a- with a funny head. Right. <laughs> I love the fact- I love the fact you're intrigued with these things. You go in the basement of Waterstones or Dylan's or somewhere and there's these- there's these medical books that you're loving, mate. Yeah, but this is free on the internet, isn't it? <laughs> it's all there. Yeah. So what do you typed in? Weird head woman or- <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a bit Lady with head. <laughs> yeah. Weird, weird, weird people or something I put in. Sure. Yeah. Did you, did you come up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 7,000 uh, hits, Carl Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all there, innit? It's interesting. The one that I was telling you before about, um, the what's the name? The, the lost letter. The lost letter? What's the lost, this? uh, lost postcard that's, uh, just turned up. Some yeah. woman uh, sent a postcard years and years ago to to a niece or something, right? Yeah. And, and her niece was like three years old sure. back then. And just now, like I think like yesterday or the day before, it turned up, the postcard turned up 74 years late. 74 years late? It took 74 years. And that years. three-year-old girl's been living in the same house that whole time? <laughs> well, that, yeah. Sure. <laughs> There's no way about that. You see what I mean? But there's always a question you can ask <laughs> to just scratch the credibility of these stories. Yeah. There's always- it's like the apocryphal tale. Was this the is slugs? It, was this those slugs from last week? Yeah, were they were holding back? Cause they're slow, cause the postman slug is useless. His round takes him 74 years. Then he's gotta go back to the beginning, he's got 74 years and they can't carry the bag. But that's where they go- <laughs> that's why they turn to glue. That's why they turn to glue. Oh. It's pitiful. It is pitiful. So, so you don't believe that someone sent a postcard years ago <gasps> and somehow it's been stuck in the bottom of a post bag or something and it's only just- Stuck in the bottom of a post bag? Yeah. That means that there's like an, a 95 year old postman who's still yeah. wandering around. Did, 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 you, did you have to pay like the, the difference and the charges? Uh, Cause presumably the, it was- It a, wouldn't have had Queen Elizabeth's uh, It was, it was a penny on, black, it? presumably, was it? Yeah. <laughs> what would be on the stamp? It would have been invalid, surely. <laughs> I don't know. That's See, these are the what. questions no, you no, should no, ask no, no, yourself. Because no. if on. it's the postman's fault, the post the postman. office can't turn Who was out. He was at the time himself, wasn't he? He was dead. No, he is dead. Yeah, he'll yeah. be well and truly dead now. Yeah. But the fact is that the post office made an error, <laughs> right? They lost this letter. Sure. Mm. It's only just turned up. They can't turn around and say, sorry about this. I hope it isn't urgent. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's turned up 74 years late, and by the way, you owe us 25 pence. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't do that, would no, they? No, that's so, true, that's true. So that's true. You you're asking questions, though, you see? That's- that's true, you see? So, t- um, you, you're interested in, like, where sayings come from as well, aren't you? Cos yeah. you- you told me one of the week, what that- I don't know if Steve's aware of that. Do you want to tell Steve this one? What's this a saying? Can we do this quiz? D- Let's do, do this We'll first. do the quiz later. I know you're excited about the quiz. Let's do that later, but what's this saying? Right. Uh, what is the saying? Chucking a baby out with the bathwater? Yeah. Have you, know you that? Heard that, have you heard that phrase? Uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Well, yeah. 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 Right, wh- wh- how would you use that? Well, um, how would I use that? Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I suppose if you've- maybe you've been discussing something, you've come up with some plans, but you're slightly worried and, um, you know, you might abandon the whole plan, whereas there might be some ideas in there which are still worth retaining. Exactly. So you don't want to ba- throw the baby out with, with the, the bathwater. bathwater. There might right. be something you can just change yeah. and you don't want to- yeah. yeah. A simple- you know, there might be a few ideas you can salvage from an, an otherwise worthless one. Well, the saying, right, comes from, like, years ago again. Mm-hmm. And um pre or post phone. <laughs> and uh <laughs> ages and ages ago when like you know the bloke worked in the house, you know, he was like the coal man. And then you had like <laughs> No way, it's important. Then then like the mum is like uh you know, she stays at home making the dinner, looking after the kids. Yep. yep. And uh and you've got like the little kid who's just growing up, just messing about and stuff. So what happens is back then they didn't have like fresh flowing warm water every day. Mm. So all they could do, they could only afford to have like um, one one full big bath of fresh water. So they'd fill up the bath, right? And then the dad would come home and he'd say, oh, I've had a right, you know, had a tough day at work and that down the pit. And uh, his wife would say, it's all right, I'm putting the dinner on. You're going to have a nice warm bath. So, because yeah. he, cause he gets the bath first. Because he, he gets the bath first because he's the grafter. And he's right? covered in coal. He's covered yeah. in coal, so the water's like minging by the time he's finished. Yeah. Right? And then the wife says, oh, after all my uh, cleaning the house and doing the cooking, I'm a bit sweaty now. She's covered in dust and yeah. grime. She has I'll, the next I'll, one. I'll have a bath, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. At the end of the line, there's a little baby. Yeah, yeah. It's been playing out all day. Also got like little uh, little grubby knees and stuff. Needs <coughs> to have a bath. Yeah. It goes in the bath, right? But because the water's so dirty, sure. They go and empty the water out of the window. Can't <laughs> see the baby in it. Chucking the baby out with the bath water. That's how. It, that's where it comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Steve. <laughs> I don't know this. I just, I'm just, I'm just. What do you think, Steve? Steve. So, <laughs> so firstly, that 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 sort of, I mean, oh, that doesn't explain. Where do you why, start? Well, You're that, struggling, aren't you? You're struggling where to start. Well, firstly, I can't see how we've now applied this to. I've you know, been the thinking of this. I've been thinking of this for days, Steve. Waiting for you to I hear mean, this one. These coal mining parents yeah. deeply negligent. Yeah, I, I love they've left their baby because, in the bath because unattended. It, that's the way round to do it. The one covered in coal. Yeah. Has you go bathroom. first. Sure. You go first. Don't wash the baby and then get in that. Yeah. You, you, one covered in coal goes first. Yeah. That's the best idea. Yeah. Second most dirty one goes second. Yeah. And then the clean little baby, yeah. I think I think we should do him last, because yeah. he's, he's done nothing well, towards no, this family. But, but more than that, Rick, leave him to his own devices. Yeah. Jack, I'm just gonna throw the water out. Yeah. In the bath. Don't check have you, first. Have you checked that the baby's not in there? No, I'm not Don't even going to waste my time You'd checking. You'd see it. You'd see it. I'd be able to see You'd a baby. You'd see a baby if in a there. If a baby was in here, yeah. I'd be able to see it. I'm yeah. just going to throw it out. Yeah, I'm not even going to look, to be honest, Jack. Not With all even that other bath. Yeah. If the baby's in there, yeah. then it should be, be making careful, itself. Be Jack. We have lost three children this way. <laughs> Don't worry. Supergrass, Grace on XFM 104.9. Coming up in the next hour, Carl Pilkington's new game show. He's very excited about I'm this. I'm excited. I'm excited. We don't I know anything wait. about it, but, but it's going to be dynamite. He's told me it's going to be a winner. He's, you know, he said it's going to go to television. Sure. Uh, I need some adverts, though. Oh, I'd love to hear some adverts. Can we have just two or three minutes of adverts, please? <laughs> Vines there, Steve. On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl's getting very excited, as we all are, about his new... Should we, should we let him do a little taster for us? Well, I'm very excited about it. I mean, so, I, well, so the gist of it, what is it? What is it, exactly? Right. Is it a game show, or is it a competition? It's just, um, just thought it's something that, you know, you can play, and also people at home, uh, can take part in it. Now, would they phone in about this, or they can just play at home while they're listening? They can just play at home. Okay. Um, you mean we haven't got any prizes? No, there isn't. No, I, I think we, we, could, we could get him to phone in, maybe. Well, I don't know. Let's hear the game idea yeah. first. Yeah. Right, it's, it's music related. Okay, good. And, um, what I do is, I sort of, uh, tell a little story. Okay. And that story makes up a song title. All right. Well, it right. sounds ambitious. So, um... Is it a cryptic clue? Uh, could be. <laughs> Uh, say, say like this, right? <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Say like this. Right. This, this woman, right, she's pregnant. You know the answer to this one, so don't be saying anything. This okay. is just aimed at Steve. Okay. Right. This woman has a baby. Yeah. She's pregnant, has a baby. And the doctor's there in the, uh, in the hospital going, oh, yeah, you've got a, got a lovely little baby oh, here. Oh, you told me that this is... Oh, this guy. Got a lovely little yeah. baby. Oh. Um, it's just coming out now. You'll be able to see it in a minute. And, uh, it's like covered in gunk and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, he's going, yeah, it's nearly here. It's coming out. I see, see it's a little head and that. And, um, he gets hold of it and it's full of all this gunk, right? The baby's full of gunk. Yeah, like the Covered in gunk or full of gunk? Covered in it. Right. And he goes, uh, here you go. Get hold of your baby. And he drops it. Right. What, what song's that? There's so much irrelevance there, Steve. I can't tell you. It's not a cryptic clue. It's not a cryptic clue. Because only... Uh, I mean, the gist of it is that, relevant. That isn't the best one. That's just... Right. I mean, there is just... There's there's things there that you were pro pro dwelling on and thinking of puns. Don't. Just go for gut instinct. What was it? What was that? Right, let me just... I just need to try and get the basics of this. There's a woman, she's pregnant, she has a baby. Yeah. The baby's covered in gunk. Yeah. Right. And because of the gunk, the doctor drops the baby. Yeah. yeah. And that's all I need to know. Yeah, that is all you need to know. Yeah, the um, pregnancy is largely irrelevant. <laughs> okay, what it's, are the what are the, the key birth, elements? It's the birth and the doctor dropping it that the irrelevant. The, the, the irrelevant birth thing. and the dropping of the baby. Yeah. Uh, I've n I've absolutely no idea. I can't think even about, begin think, to guess. Think about what's happened here. Oh, Carl, She's had a baby. The doctors. Try to deliver it. He's saying it's a nice little baby you've got here. This is all irrelevant. <laughs> this is all irrelevant. Right, let me tell you this. So, so just to be fair to Steve, so he gets, he can get into your mind, 
Right? This is not a traditional cryptic clue. <laughs> okay. Logical problem or This is- this is Carl, what song am I thinking of? Right? <laughs> right. That is Underworld, Born Slippy. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, actually, that makes textbook sense. Yeah. No, that does yeah. actually. No, do you I'm like sorry. The, do you like all the story about the good <laughs> big goes away? You can see it in a minute. Always just covered in gunk. Yeah. No, I agree there is some extraneous detail. Yeah, but I okay. have to say. Yeah. That. Born was good, because it was. That, that's what. That's the look of it. Was yeah. Born was good, yeah. And okay. Born Slippy. I. Uh, no, I'm actually- I was quite impressed by that, Carl, I have to say. No, to be fair to you, I'm not just patronising you. Oh, well, I've got- oh, um, wow. I actually think that was really good, and I- I, I disrespect Ricky Gervais for slanging okay, that off, cos okay. I actually think that that was quite well, good. Well, let's go ahead with it, then. I- I- <laughs> on your I feel bit. we could- we could maybe open this up to, uh, to email correspondence, or, Okay, uh, or let's go notes. for it, then. Okay, this is Carl Pilkington's <laughs> new game show idea. It's what- it's- it's- uh, It's just what's the song. <laughs> well, it- <laughs> Carl Pilkington presents What's the Song? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Carl Pilkington. Yeah. Okay, well, what's right, the song? Well, let's, I'll tell you what, let's play a record. Let's, let's come well, back after Give out the number, ready for him. Well, uh, you should make a note of this. Uh, you can email us, the email's up and running, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Uh, what's the phone number, Carl? Have you got? It's 08700 800 1234. Okay. 08700 800 one, two, three, four. Make a note of that, and we'll uh, we'll have a game of uh, what song is Carl thinking of after this next track. What do you want to play? What have um, you got lined up there? Oh, oh, continuing uh, again. Uh, uh, old fogies who were good once, and I Absolutely. won't hear a thing said against the new kids <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah. It's not all new metal, is it? True enough. This is uh, Cat Stevens, uh, a, a little known album, Mona Bone Jack on, and this one's called Trouble. It's a lovely mm. song. Cat Stevens, Trouble, from Mona Bone Jackon, uh, on XFM 104.9, playing some new songs, playing some old songs. True enough, true enough. Playing some old games, some chit-chat, some tears, some laughter, and true. Carl Pilkington with his brand new show, What's <laughs> the Song? What song am I thinking now, of? Now, I, I'm, I, I mean... You're nervous about this, aren't you, Rick? I am. You're worried. Well, because I-I've heard some of these clues before. I and they're, they're ramblings, they're sometimes they're close to ramblings <laughs> of a fool. <laughs> Right? <laughs> and it really is like those, what am I thinking? Yeah. Um. I don't know though, I actually was genuinely impressed by Born Slippy. I-I-I have to give him the benefit that's of the doubt. That's one of the better ones. Cos I-I- Cos you know. that was short, sweet, and it worked. <laughs> Some of these, like, you say they're not gonna be quite as pissy. Some of them are like Emily Bronte novels. <laughs> um, now listen. We're just gonna go for it then. You do it and we'll just get people to call up. Cos I- I want- I wanna see the general public's confusion Absolutely. trying to work out a well, why don't we, uh, why don't we- why don't you give us your- your next clue, <sighs> and then we'll play a track, and then we'll- we'll hopefully have people on the line after the track right. to try and answer it, and you can recap briefly. So give us your clue now for, uh, what song am I thinking of? Right, this one, um, it's about a woman, and, um, she's just normal, nothing wrong with her, or, <laughs> or so she thinks, right? <laughs> <laughs> but there's the twist. <laughs> Is this like the Tales of the Unexpected? And she's got like, you know, she's got a mate and she's having a normal life, having a good time and that. And then this thing happens, right? And uh, she starts to stink. <laughs> and she can't have a bath, right? And she really wants to have a bath. She's dead sweaty and stuff. She's trying to, she's going about her daily stuff. She can do everything else normal. She can eat, she can talk, everything. But for some reason, she can't have a bath. Is there a coal mining husband in the bath? <laughs> yeah. Is this born stinky? <laughs> she can't have a bath. So a woman can't have a bath. Yeah. Or, is that the rest it, of her or a shower. She can't. <laughs> okay, leave it there, Rick. Don't try and guess. It's not okay. fast to guess. Um, the general public can phone up and ask questions. So I just just I'm go not for sure it. They can, can they? I think, they I think just so. Have to guess. Otherwise, we don't want just people just um, phoning well, up let's and getting well, it. What about this? Why don't they can ask one question? Yeah. They can ask one question of Carl, then they have to make a guess. Okay. Oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two. Have we got three, someone four. on the line now? Well, we'll just go no, let's do it. Let's, right, go, let's, go, for let's go, go for one. Let's go for one. This I'm is ed edgy radio. This is letting Carl stuff. Right. Hello. Hello. Go on. Hello XFM. Hello. I'm ringing about um, what's the song? Absolutely. What do you think? Well, I'm going for Dirty Diana. Dirty Diana. See that works. That's a great guess. It does. Yeah, but it doesn't work because why can't she have a bath? <laughs> okay, so well, the answer that's is what in there. I was going to ask you. Well, well, that's your one that, question. That be the answer. That would be the answer, I'm afraid. What was your name? Shelley. Shelley, thanks very much. Shelley, I should, I should tell you that, you know, that you should never take this personally because no one can really get into the mind of Carl, so <laughs> don't, don't, you know, beat yourself up about this. I don't expect anyone to get these clues. No. So, um, so well done. That a is guess. a fine guess. A Thank you. Guess. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else there? That's, that's, uh, hello, XFM. Who's that on the line? Um, it's Chris. Hello, Chris. Uh, a question for Carl? 
before I, you I give us a guess? Have, like, uh, I haven't thought of a really good question or anything yet. You just want to go for the guess? No, well, no, what I thought was, um, I'm sure Simon Mayo used to do this when he did the breakfast show <laughs> on Radio 1 years ago. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> so you've just you pinched this idea, Carl. If you're going to rip school. someone off, Carl, do not rip off Simon Mayo. I haven't ripped this off. I thought this was a new idea. I was going to do it with sound effects instead, but that's yeah, a... Yeah, he a... used to do that, and he used to get his team to play other characters. And you story. idiot. Well, no, hang on. Yeah, not you, not you, Chris. I'm, yeah. I'm saying you idiot to Carl. Yeah, but nothing's new anyway, is it? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting annoyed about <laughs> it. True. What do you think the answer is? <laughs> um, is it Cornflake Girl by Tori Amos? Good answer. She couldn't have a bath because she'd go all... She'd go floppy, floppy and, and then go down the plug. <laughs> Good answer. She'd so, go all soggy. Yeah. So it's not, is it Cornflake Girl? No, it's not, but that's, That's a uh, great answer. It could have been. <laughs> okay. You're already seeing the error of this, aren't you? I think this like, is great radio. I'm I really hooked on this. I'm but genuinely this, excited This now. is really like that, um, uh, those, uh, so-called lateral thinkers. A man got into a field and dies. Why? <laughs> yeah. Um, he ran out of air? No. <laughs> yeah. Not the one I'm thinking of. He was of. shot. Well, no. Uh, yeah. That was Got a good answer, well, but... like, Simon Mayo, like, sue you or something for doing it? Will you way? stop? Don't mention that! Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Listen, I think if you're gonna steal ideas from someone, it should be a brain box like Mayo. <laughs> I mean, he's the man yeah, The only for. example of one I can ever remember here on his show, because I was quite young then, was, um, some people were pretending to, like, tap someone's phone or something, and then they got caught, and the answer was just bugging by whistle, because they were... Genius. Uh, yeah. That was absolute genius. That's yeah. absolute genius. Chris, See, Carl, that's Carl's the sort of standard you've got to come up against. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much, Chris. No the phone problem. lines are hot. Hello, oh, XFM. <laughs> Hi, is it Candy Perfume Girl? Is it what? Candy Perfume Girl. Candy Perfume Girl? Yeah. Ca candy Perfume Girl. Is it- well, who's that by? Madonna. No, it's- That sounds like an obscure album track. No, it's not it's album. just one of their- one of her songs. Just well, think about it. it. She- she stinks and everything. She's a normal life. She's- I didn't say she was a sweet or anything. Um, <laughs> but she, for some reason she can't have a bath or is a shower. Is this a big song? Just to give him a clue, is it- It's a- it's a bigger song than, uh, Candy Sweet Girl. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for your guess. It clearly is <laughs> Thank right. you. It Cheers. Was, Sorry. A, it, you know, okay. One, one more, then we're going yeah. to a record. Come right. on. Okay. Go on. Hello, XFM. Carl. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Is it high and dry by Radiohead? High and dry. High and dry. Now that's great. She smells, which is another word for high. She's dry because she doesn't have a shower. Carl, if it isn't that, <laughs> yours will never be as good as that. He's the winner. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking of, that clue is brilliant. What's your name, mate? It's Richie. Richard. Richard. Uh, I mean, you can't beat that. That's a bit too lateral. Don't be stupid. <laughs> it's perfect. He's made yours into a clever clue. He's made high. She smells dry. She never gets in the bath or shower. It's yeah. not that, is it, Carl? No, it's you not. You don't even get that, do you? Not have really. You ever, <laughs> have you ever heard of the word high being used to mean sort of smelly? No. 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 Oh, what? Well, that was where you went wrong, there, mate. <laughs> Richard, um, well, I'm declaring you the winner, even though that isn't the answer. I don't think Thank we you. should give up this early. Can we just uh, can, let's play a song and, let's play and a song. Give, it, give it one more chance? Because yeah. if people think about it, it is really easy. So, I'm not going to find out the answer now because I've got to go out. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll do it very quickly. Stay in for ten minutes. We're just going to play a new uh, okay. Coldplay track. Aren't okay, we? let's play Coldplay and then Cheers. we'll come back with this. Bye. Coldplay, one I love. That's for um, Nick. Neil, Olivia, in uh, Tower Bridge. Absolutely, and also Nikki from Bromley who emailed in. She's enjoying the show and she, uh, she wanted a bit of Coldplay. That's the B-side of the current single. This is a great show, isn't it? We've got great music, we've great got music. laughs, tears, we've got requests, we've got Simon Mayo games. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a bit, it's just, it's just like Radio 1 for <laughs> exactly. less people. <laughs> exactly. Radio 1 for less people. Yeah. <laughs> this is great, isn't it? Um, so, so, go on, so listen, Carl, you were so excited about this game, weren't you, earlier? You, ca you came in with a but hop, skip, and a leap in your, in your step. Although, I must say, the phones are going mental. We're gonna have to take this some more no, calls. People I mean, call. high and dry is great. I mean, it works. That's it. So, can, can we have a very quick... Just uh, recap in case someone's yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, quick can recap. you make it, can you make it so high and dry doesn't work now? <laughs> Give us a bit of information that makes it different to high and dry, or can't So for those that just that? tuned in, Carl describes, in a roundabout way, a story which somehow is representative of a song. Is a that song right? title? A song title. Yeah. Okay. So um, this woman, she's 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 all right. You know, she has a normal life. <laughs> Pretty much. Kind of. Yeah. Um, there's probably a few things actually that she can't do. Thinking about it. <laughs> 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 but <laughs> the main problem would be having a <laughs> having a wash or having a bath or having a shower. Yeah. Maybe going for a swim. Thinking about it. <laughs> Right. Oh, that's, that's I think water is the clue, isn't it? That's the clue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, who's that on the line? Hi there, it's Mark. Hello, Mark. Hi, Mark. 
Right, what is do you it think? smells like Teen Spirit, Nirvana? No, it's not. That's a great guess. Smells like Teen Spirit again. It's also no. brilliant. Thank you, Mark. Well done. No, no it's not that. All right. Hello, XFM. Oh, that's that's oh. that's a dodgy mobile. Oh, that's a bit of a clue. A dodgy Hello, mobile. XFM. Oh, oh, they've just given up. They, they've all been going for Smells Like Teen Spirit. Yeah. They just hung up. Hello, XFM. Uh, hi. Is it, um, She's Electric? Excellent. She's Electric. It makes sense. That's oh, fantastic, Oh, says She's Electric. Why does she smell? Because she doesn't have a bath and that. Because she can't have a bath or a shower. What's, what's your name? Neil. Neil, so got does it. that, so... Oh. Neil got it. God. So... Did you get it straight away? Uh, no, only, uh, during the song. A process of elimination from all the other wrong answers. Yeah, basically. So... She's electric. Rick, I have to say, you- you're holding your head in hand- in oh. your hands and it looks like you want to shoot off. But I have to say, I thought that was quite good. I genuinely thought that was quite good. But it's not a cryptic clue, is it? Cos it's not- she smells, there's a few things you can't do. She's electric. Yeah, but do you understand what- what I'm getting at? <laughs> She's electric. She's I always understand what you're getting at, Carl. That's never been a problem in the, you know, the years I've known you. Neil got it. Yeah. She's I electric. have to say, Rick, I think you're down on this idea. I could definitely see that. ITV1 replacing Get I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Carl Pilkerton hosting. It's Simon Mayo yeah. on the phone. <laughs> exactly. To the lawyers. <laughs> well, uh, well, Neil, there's no prizes or anything, but well done. Okay. Well done. That was well worth it. Right. Well, you go away with the award in the knowledge that you've beaten Carl. Yeah. You can get, uh, secure the knowledge that you thought <laughs> how Carl does. <laughs> Absolutely. Well done, Neil. Okay. I have to say, I, I think you're being harsh on him. I think that's, okay. a, that's a great game. All right, let's do it again next week, then. I thought that was a great game. Yeah. Brilliant. Well play, done, record. Carl. play record. Play uh, record. What do you want to play? Oh, you know, I tell you, uh, we've been playing some oldies, Rick, and I've enjoyed them all, but I think I've been in love with this song for many, many years, and when I saw it, reminded of it in Con Air, the film Con Air. Remember, they stick it on in Con Air, and it's just dynamite. It's Leonard Skinner. I, I love this. Sweet Home Alabama. I'll oh, turn this up. Uh, this this one up. Say, crank it up. Turn it up. Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> Leonard Skinner. Yeah. Strange and beautiful. Aqualung. Or as Carl says, Aqualung. On XFM 104. Point nine. Well, it seems that Carl's clue, um, you know, did go down quite well. Some other people got it. Uh, the game show as a whole has been well received. Well, I have to say, the, uh, the email, you know, we've had, we've had loads of emails, Rick. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've had, uh, let me just count two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh, one of them was aimed at, uh, Simon Mayo. <laughs> and, uh, came to us by mistake. Uh, they yeah, thought they were listening to Mayo. Yeah. And the yeah. other is, uh, saying, Carl, they, love, they love the game show. Radio One with less people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. and, uh, so despite the fact it was a stolen idea, I think we yeah. should do it again next week. Just and like next week, let's, let's rustle up some prizes as well. You're just like your little magpie, aren't you? Thieving shiny <laughs> ideas. <laughs> from Mayo's <laughs> Nest. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, so We played Lillard Skinner just before the ads, and I was just looking at the compilation it comes from. It's a great compilation. We took this from, uh, Driving Rock. Yeah. Uh, which I imagine- This is not available in the shops. <laughs> exactly. Um, I imagine it's come straight from the personal collection of, uh, maybe Taron or, uh, Foxy. Or Canfield. But there's some great names on here that I'd like to see. Maybe we could play them. He's a little Vance, isn't he? He's a <laughs> tiny Vance. Exactly. You know, like you're a little Mayo. Canfield's a little Vance. I mean, these are some names. Just Go don't- on. I haven't heard them for a long time. Go I'd on. love to hear them again. Go Alana on. Miles. Hmm. Black Velvet. No, rubbish. Rhea. You don't hear Rhea, no? Chris, Chris Rhea. Rhea. Yeah. Well, what one? Spin Doctors. Oh, God. Lest we forget the Spin Doctors. God. Crash Test Dummies. Hmm. What happened hmm. to them? Don't know. Uh, who else we got on here? Richard Marks. Yeah. Mr. Big. I didn't. He's guilty in that song when he goes, I swear I did. And all that. And the police came around. Well, there's no smoke without fire. I reckon he did it. To be honest. <laughs> I, yeah. reckon he, I reckon he murdered her. You're absolutely right. Go on. Legs, ZZ Top. <laughs> She knows how to use them. <laughs> she does indeed. She knows how to- it's what it is, it's electrical impulse from the brain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, what, the, how is she using them? What's she's she just, she's just, um, it's, you know- The brothers do beer on here as well. Oh, isn't that- nothing wrong with them. No, absolutely not. It's Starship. Yeah. And, uh, Toto as well. Oh, what Africa? Are you it's not actually. What is it? Can you name another Toto track? Hold the line. It's Hold the Line. Let's hold rock! Put that <laughs> on! <laughs> it's a good, it's a Let's good stuff. down! Uh, 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 <laughs> ow. Is it it's good stuff? When session musicians get together. <laughs>
Oh, we Can got we hear a quick little blast? Oh, it be, is that, is that disc oh, still play in there? a little bit. Hold the line. It's that great. Should be, uh, that should be track. Uh, oh, let me see. No. That's probably track ten. I hope this doesn't annoy too many people. <laughs> like we're worried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We like to give our radio slick. Is this um, it? This is not it. Yeah. Wake up a minute. Yeah. Uh, that was dynamite. That was great. We'll have some. I think we should have like a classic rock anthem every week. I'd, oh, do you not I'd, think? I'd, I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to. Bit of rainbow maybe next week. Oh, Who knows? Man alive! Phone in if you want to hear some classic rock. <laughs> classic rock, indeed. Oh, we ripped off Mayo. Let's do Vance. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's just uh, steal ideas from other better DJs. Okay. Um. Oh, what, what can we, we have? There's some great ideas out there. I'm sure. I, I mean, if you if you want to like any fix, it's done. <laughs> if you may want to eat a packed <laughs> yeah. lunch on a roller coaster. On a roller coaster, yeah, with some Boy Scouts or or. or Dance with Banana Rama. Yeah. Then, then yeah. we're, we're, yeah. we're yeah. or Five Star. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the fact Five Star <laughs> reform. There's three of them. <laughs> Have you read about this? <laughs> no. Oh. Turn left. White Stripes on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant Hello. and Carl Pilkington. Well, I had a good time. I've enjoyed it, yeah, it's been nice. It's some, been fun. Some good tracks, some some laughs, a new uh, competition by yeah. Simon Mayo. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that was, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. That was great. Yeah, yeah. Carl, Carl have you heard um, the big news? That uh, Ricky Gervais is uh, looking to take up. Um, well, you explain it, Gervais, because oh, I'm not. It's not big not, news. No. I, what are you talking? What do you mean? You, 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 you want, you're taking up boxing. Is this right? No. no what is uh, the story? You want to be fighting for money? No. What is that? Yeah, bare knuckle fighting. No, come on. What is it? No. All, all it is. I've been watching this um, show on cable called Born to Fight, and it's sort of, sort of right. late. <laughs> it's a late one. We flick around, and, and I think it's uh, on the after roadies. Which is like, Road is. A, yeah, it's a bloke. One bloke with a camera to goes on tour with different people. Like he went on with Motorhead. He went with the, with a meatloaf um, uh, uh, tribute act. <laughs> he went on with Coldplay. Was in one of them. It's that, and it's the is sort this of this when, cheap like, all the other channels have been switched off. Yeah, this yeah, is the only yeah one left. exactly. Yeah, and there's one uh, called Born to Fight, and uh, they just uh, take a different story. It might be like, an amateur fight, or it might be um, an unlicensed fight, not illegal, yeah. um, or it might be white collar, which I'm thinking of doing. What's what's white collar? White collar is just people who want to fight. And uh, it's organised. Is it it's like a charity club? Yeah, it's just, but it's charity. It, it's safe. It's, it's it's a charity. Do you know, having like, big events? And it's just two people that you know aren't boxers, aren't amateur boxers, and they get in the ring. They do three three um, two minute rounds, and they just lay into each other. They've got head guards on. And uh, Rick, I don't mean to alarm you, but um, you know we work together, obviously, and, and we make the office and stuff. Your face is my fortune. <laughs> I can't that, have that it. That must being, be a bit of a worry for you. It is. I'm not going to say. Well, your heart as well is also a concern. Yeah. You know, and you're eating and stuff. But so when I said well, I was, no, was, well, was, was going to get fit, you were going, no, Gervais, you're only funny because you're fat. No, I agree. This is true. But I'm saying there's a degree, there's a difference between being fit. Yeah. And um, and I would say, Getting for instance, don't eat. In. Well, don't eat. Um, don't eat. Kind of, you know, uh, cheese and bacon. You know, on their own <laughs> all day, all day, all right. for breakfast. So what I'm saying is, there's yeah. a difference between you know exercising and then having yeah. your face beaten in. And yeah. what I'm saying is that you, it, I just don't think it's a good idea. But I might win. No, the pro well, I don't. You, it, that's 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 irrelevant. You're still going to take a couple of blows to the face. And the point is this, Rick. You're not going to win. Why? Because, no, because you are delusional. You think that you are probably the world's greatest boxer. <laughs> you are, I know, ever since I've known you, you seem to think that this is the case because you've watched all the Rocky films. <laughs> And you think that's fair enough? That seems straightforward enough. <laughs> but look at your physique. You know, yeah, you've got some upper body strength, but yeah. you know, you've also got some upper, some <laughs> lower belly strength as well. I noticed. And um, <laughs> and my concern is, you're going to go in there, and <laughs> you're not only going to be a broken man when you realise that you're just not as handy in the ring as you thought you were. Yeah. But also, you're going to you're going to incur some injuries. This you is wear fighting masks? talk. This is fighting talk. The first rule of fight club is don't this, talk about fight club. This ones we want to do it more now, just because of you. It was the same when Adrian didn't agree that Rocky could beat. Right, Clever yeah. Lang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she she made that mistake. Then she made the same mistake at with, what with age, Drago. Rick? At what age? She turns up at the end to take a bit of the credit, didn't she? When you were this kind of thin, nimble youth in yeah. your makeup and your eyeliner and all the rest of yeah. it, you I bet you had no you had no thoughts about boxing. It never came into your mind, did it? So at what <laughs> age did you suddenly think, wait a minute, I've taken the wrong path in life? I could have been the world <laughs> I heavyweight. Don't, I don't think I could. When you when have you suddenly decided that you can you you can suddenly be a bit street tough? I don't understand why this has suddenly come about. In, well, I'm not in putting out life. a shout, am I, to fight people? It's not. I'm not. It's not like Noel but Gallagher you've got to find and Robbie some, Williams. But you've got to find someone else, presumably, to fight with. Yeah, but it'd probably be a businessman who wants to fight. Right. 
Do you know there's something really weird about that? Don't you think that sound- have you- just listen to yourself, I want to fight another bi- I want to fight a businessman. <laughs> no, Please I may I fight, fight a businessman? I don't want to fight a businessman! <laughs> you, you just I said- wa- I want to fight someone who wants to- it's, you know, I mean, it's not- I want to fight them, though. <laughs> I want to fight somebody! <laughs> Since you like, it sounds a bit mad, Bring yeah. them on, I want to fight people! No, but it's more the- it's more the effort and the training and the commitment to it, like climbing a mountain. I mean, I think climbing a mountain and doing a marathon is ridiculously macho. It's not the fact that you can no, do it No, that's not go, macho, compared well, to macho, isn't it? Climbing, there's no reason to climb a mountain, there's no reason to do a marathon. If you can run a mile, that's all you need. The fact that you train is whether you can do it yourself and achieve something. And this is more <coughs> like the training and the learning uh, skill and then seeing if it works. I, I don't want to get in there. To, but aren't you concerned about you might get beaten? Or you might get beaten up, I should say. No! What's the worst that can happen? I, it was You'll a, get black eyes, bruises in your- Well, bruises- bruises <laughs> Jamie, heal. let me just remind you of the what? time we were working in your flat, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you immediately- <laughs> Right, I think- I don't know to this day what happened, but you started choking, you clasped your chest, you were breathing, wheezing, right? I leapt over to you, I remember screaming, I don't know the Heimlich manoeuvre, yeah. if you've swallowed something I can't help. Yeah. You gained your breath, you gained your composure, yeah, I said, yeah. what happened? Did you eat something? Did you go down the wrong way? You said, no, I swallowed some dust. I swallowed some dust. You breathed some dust in, that was in the air, there was some dust in the air, you breathed that in, it knocked you out for two days. You're in bed for two yeah. days. I love that. I don't I, think you. I don't I think you're the man for the job. And that's some dust. What do you think this businessman's gonna do? Exactly. He'll be permanent. Hide your appointment. Yeah. He'll hurt your appointment. You found a lump, didn't you, on your <laughs> testicle? Once we sat in a uh, doctor's waiting room, I remember for about forty-five minutes. You got minutes. Up and checked out. It was fine. I think I went twice, didn't my I? Po- yeah, my I point. said to the doctor at one point. I said, "Did you check round the back?" Yeah. I was thinking he hadn't checked it. Yeah. yeah. Oh dear. My, just because they hadn't found anything. My point is this: oh. you're something of hypochondriac. You know <laughs> you're something of hypochondriac. <laughs> you know that already. So. Uh, Why do you think this is going to be any different? Wow! If you take a, when you take the first blow to the head, you take the punch, you'll immediately think that you've got some kind of you know brain disorder. No, I've always, and you'll be I've done always for, wanted to do it, but I just up. thought I just talent. I wanted to make sure I wanted to know that I definitely lost my looks. Right. And um, I've seen some of the publicity shots. I've got mirrors and mouths. So now, because I've definitely lost my looks now, I've got nothing to lose. Yeah. So I want you know maybe a younger, more handsome man. I want to teach him. <laughs> <a> lesson. <laughs> Let me just. I'll end with this. <laughs> right. For people who listen to this show regularly, <laughs> yeah. you already sound like you're punch drunk. <laughs> All right, and that's just your natural way of talking. Please, let's not do the real thing. <laughs> oh, play a record. Oh, I mean, is it going to be televised? Uh, it, well, we could get it on DVD, maybe release All right, it. Now I'm interested. Okay, <laughs> is there money to be made? <laughs> yeah, lots of All money. Right, well, maybe we should talk about it. Okay. On XFM 104.9. You join us now live at uh, Shippy Old People's Home, <laughs> where uh, TV star Ricky Gervais <laughs> is taking on his first uh, non professional bout. Uh, um, Ricky, who are you fighting this evening? Uh, a bloke called Pete's Medley. <laughs> okay, Pete's Medley. How old is Pete? He's 72. <laughs> 72 years yeah, old. Yeah. yeah and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Now you're very excited about the fight, I know. Yeah, he's, yeah, uh, yeah, Pete's yeah, just yeah. recovered from a massive coronary, hasn't he? Well, I don't want to get into that. He, he's <laughs> deemed himself fit, and okay. uh, that's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> If he if he wants to fight, listen. Right, someone just called up and said uh, they're fight me. He's t- sounded this is such pretty a bad idea. pretty tasty. I said how how tall he? he said five foot eleven. I said what do you weigh? He said thirteen stone. I said how old are you? Twenty seven. Mm. I explained to him I'm looking for someone a lot older and smaller. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Lot lot older and smaller. Than Donna Stell. <laughs> <laughs> if Don yeah. Stell from, uh, what's it? <laughs> it ain't I'm going to show you now, Steve. Listen, no, yeah. it's just a sport. You know, mm. people go, oh, don't go into badminton, the shuttlecock can hurt your eye. <laughs> it's just a sport. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll, 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 I'm sure we'll resume this conversation next week. Yeah. When, of course, we'll also be playing more of uh, Carl's new brilliant game with prizes, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Simon Mayo's What Is Carl <laughs> Thinking? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I- I'll leave you with a song for uh, the ladies, Rick, if I may. Yeah. Uh, this is by uh, my friend uh, Harry, you may know, he sends me tr- uh, tracks every so often that I should yeah. listen to. And, uh, this is a particular favourite of mine. Pretty please, and it's by Kevin Tahista's Red Terror. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but enjoy that, and we'll uh, see you next week. Let's get ready to rumble. Mm. <laughs>